Greetings friends, this is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back again with another moment for chronic wellness. Thanks for being here. As we round into the days finally starting to grow in length and end this year, I am thinking about how we can bring the light into the lives of those we know and love with chronic illness. And today I want to spend a few minutes talking about curiosity and you know, curiosity can serve us well, whether it's in the lives of uh, participating in our teen children or how to wind our way out of an argument with our spouse or uh, whatever current problem we find ourselves up against. But today I'm going to talk about it in the context of being with the people we know and love with chronic illness. I think it's really easy to believe or assume that we've heard what there is to hear about someone's illness and how it's impacting them. And maybe that's true, but maybe it isn't. And maybe illnesses shift over time and maybe people's understanding of their illnesses and the impact their illness is having on them shifts over time. And so the the idea that I am uh, suggesting today around curiosity and how you might bring light into someone's life with chronic illness is to lead with curiosity and have a conversation with someone you know and love with chronic illness about what's working for them these days, what's not working for them these days. How is their illness changing or staying the same? How are their fears about their illnesses changing or staying the same? And if that feels too encompassing or too um, big to get a handle on in a conversation, maybe you focus it a little more narrowly and maybe you talk about um, your time together and how, uh, how can you do a better job spending time together and taking their illness into consideration? So what do I need to know about what time of day works best for you? What duration is usually best for you? Do you do best with multiple short visits or one longer visit? Or what's typically the best length of time for a visit? Do you do better if we're meeting and having food or if we're meeting in the quiet of one of our homes or what works and instead of believing that you already know the answer to these things because maybe you do or maybe one time you did you know at one time you did perhaps these answers have changed over time but regardless of whether the answers have changed your interest in the answers demonstrate an interest in me, an interest in her, in him, in that other person. It, it, it demonstrates a love and a worth and a value in getting it right and in doing time together in a way that works for both of you. And that is love personified. That is, that is showing that person's worth uh, to you through through question asking and caring to show up in ways that that work for that other person. So that's my tip for a way to bring light to someone in your life with chronic illness. Show up with curiosity and learn again about what works for her or for him. All right. Tell me about your tips and ideas, and um, I'm grateful you're here. I'm glad to share this time together. Until we're together again, thank you, and be well.